This has to be Trinidad's greatest wedding proposal video ever, and I'm about to show you how we pulled it off. From a rented out IMAX cinema in Gemstone, to surprising Kia, who had no clue her boyfriend Gianni was about to pop up on screen after watching a movie with her parents, and that the cinema is secretly filled with her friends and family. All without her knowing a single thing. Let me show you how we did it. <gasps> oh shit! So meet Gianni. He reached out to me and wanted my help to make a wedding proposal video to surprise his girlfriend Kia with. But not your typical stuff like with a sign on a beach or a surprise dinner. No, he wanted something a bit more creative. A short film. And he would surprise her with this film in front of all her friends and family at Gemstone Cinemas at Cinema One, who were kind enough to be responsive and to allow us to use the cinema space after one of their screenings to pull this off, and of course to be in on the plan. So big shout out to them. So the only thing that could go wrong is if she says no. I don't know why I would say that. <laughs> so we have all the steps to the master plan. All we need to figure out now is, well, everything. What exactly is she gonna watch on screen? She has to say yes to this. There's a lot of pressure on me here. So for this, I spoke to Gianni and he gave me a little outline of what he wanted. Basically, he wanted to do a short comedy film where he's running late to his own proposal at the movies. Maybe the cars aren't starting and everything is just going wrong. So he wanted to get his friend nicknamed Sauce in the video. Hey Gianni dog. Move! As well as a cameo from Kia's dad. Hey Gianni, this is your big day. It's time to go. Take this. And the ending would be him walking into the cinema and then transitioning into real life. Oh, and he also asked if it's possible to make it look like the dad picks him up in a helicopter. Uh. Helicopter, helicopter. Paracopter, paracopter. I feel like anyone else he told these ideas to would probably think he's insane. I learned something early on that made this process 10 times easier. He's an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm no stranger to doing the craziest things on the internet, so I saw his ridiculous vision clear as day. So I had him provide me a bunch of inside jokes and stories and all this stuff between him and Kia so that I can implement it into the story because of course all this needs to be funny and make sense for just one person, her. So I ended up having around two pages of poorly written notes to work with and took some time to write an entire script. And he loved it. So the story goes as follows. Gianni wakes up late to his own proposal and hurries to get there on time when he bumps into his friend nicknamed Sauce. Move! After both vehicles fail to start and having an epiphany as to what to do after hitting his head, he decides to run there. Midway through, Sauce arrives and reveals that he sabotaged both vehicles as he just didn't think Kia was the right one for him. I do think she's the one, bro. I think you're making a mistake. Sauce, let me tell you something. This is not a mistake, I can promise you that. But after Gianni expresses his love for her, Sauce gives in and Gianni is picked up by Kia's dad in a helicopter who gives Gianni his blessing to marry his daughter and to take him to the cinema just in time for the proposal. The end. <laughs> so we planned out our locations, our shooting schedule, and just like that, it was time to film. Don, why you feeling me up so far, boy? What? And I tell her, boy, today's the big day. Now give me your keys. Oh, God. So we didn't have a lot of time here. We needed to finish everything in one day, so we had to move. Gianni also needed to know where Kia was at all times during the day, so we would get our updates from her brother Arvid, who would tell us if she's home or what she's doing. And remember when I said I realized Gianni was just an idiot? Well, that transitioned to real life too. And it made the process like 10 times more fun. He would suggest things like instead of reaching by the counter to grab something, he would instead slide across the floor and pick it up underneath the couch. And he showed me like three Spider-Man suits he had as soon as I went over there and asked if we can include this in the film somehow. And that actually ended up making it into the final version. But that seemed tempting. However, I don't think she'll like that. Let's talk for shit instead. So things were just smooth sailing pretty much. It didn't even feel like work. It just felt like filming a new short film with some friends and it was a really fun day. We were getting all our shots, making schedule, all the while Kia's unaware that all of this is happening right under her nose. Mi tostadora está en la mañana y tú eres el hombre ara. What? Mi tostadora está en la mañana. No, that is the same French voice. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Qual, 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 qual.
But of course, it's us. Something has to go wrong. So midway through is when the problems started to arise. As soon as we pulled up to film this whole conversation and helicopter scene, it started to rain. Hard. The intensity and the density are the clouds right now, right? Mm, and, and, so, yes. and the circumference. Let me tell you something. Yeah. According to the global scale, wind is blowing the clouds this way. So that is our passing cloud. Over here going to be bright, and that is our passing. We ended up staying in the car, waiting for the rain to pass for probably like a half hour. But thankfully the rain stopped, and as soon as it did, we jumped right back into shooting. So I'd like if you could be on board with this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so Gianni had called Kia's dad prior to meet us at the ground we were at so he can film his stuff quickly, but he just wasn't picking up. And he was an integral part to this story. So we just finished shooting Gianni's shots and said, you know what? Hopefully in this time, he just calls or shows up to save the day. And he did. Now that seems tempting. Yeah. However, the man here, boy. Okay. The man here. Sh strip down, strip down the mic, strip down the mic. Apparently his phone had died and he was already on the way. <laughs> but I don't know. I was just so happy when he arrived because I'm like, yes, we're going to get that reaction. <laughs> We filmed his two shots quickly and headed up to Port of Spain to film out the remaining walking scenes, and that was it. Me and Kia has been together for seven years. Hello. And it's both the best seven years I ever had in my life. So Gianni was amazed when I edited and sent him the final video and how well it reflected what his vision was for the project. And he actually ended up crying at the end, which in a weird way, I was kind of happy to hear. With the video now complete, it was time to kick off phase two of the master plan. So my work was complete. I handed him over the video and now it was up to him to bring it home. But he invited me to the premiere and even saved me a seat. So of course I went. Ask you, how you, how you feeling so far there, Gianni? Very nervous. <laughs> Very nervous. Honestly, I didn't think that I just fast. <laughs> so very grateful. Thanks for coming. <laughs> so at this point, it's around 30 minutes into the movie and things are going according to plan. She's in the front row with her parents, unaware of anyone coming in behind her, which was slowly being filled up with her family and friends, with Gianni and I going in last. So the room was dark and thankfully she never got up to go to the bathroom or anything, so she never noticed everyone sitting behind her. So, as the movie finished and the credits start to roll, Gianni went to the back of the room to make his grand entrance. And it was finally time. Oh, shit! And that's the other boy, the busy big day. No, give me your keys. I don't think she's the one, bro. I think you're making a mistake. Sauce, let me tell you something. This is not a mistake. I can promise you that. Hey, Gianni, this is your big day. It's time to go. Take this. I want to have this with her. Forever. I ain't gonna lie, Uncle. If a real fly die, I will die. Oh my god, Johnny! <laughs> well, I, I do hope that the film was well put together. It's funny, after all these years being with you, I still find myself shaking to come and ask for your hand in marriage. So, with that being said, <laughs> Would you marry me, Kia? <laughs> yes! <laughs> so you can rail hide behind my back then? Yes. <laughs> Fellas, the bar has been raised for writing proposals in Trinidad because we gotta up our game because I don't know how we're gonna top this now. <laughs> The staff at Cinema One actually brought them champagne and a bottle to take home. We took some pictures, they invited me out for dinner, and that just concluded the night. 
Congratulations once again to Kia and Gianni. And thank you to Gianni for reaching out to me specifically to commandeer this entire project. And thank you to Cinema One as well for going back and forth with Gianni on the emails and allowing us to even do this in their own cinemas and for bringing this entire thing to life. Without them, this really wouldn't have been possible. So if you want to check out the full short film, you can click the link in the description and you can watch it there. That being said, thank you all so much for watching and of course, I will see you in the next video. Peace.